everybody welcome to another quick wing tips today we're starting out a new series and in this series i want to go over probably the most frequently asked uh thing about the wing is how to record how to set up the wing to work with a daw how to record over usb this will be divided in a couple of videos because i want to go first over the thing that apply to everybody then i want to go over some daw specific thing and i will do a video for that like i want to do a video on the interface for reaper for logic maybe for Pro Tool, maybe for Cubase, because the console has different layout profile for all these DAW. But before we dive in, in the interface, how to do really complicated signal chain, I wanna go over the basic. I want beginners, I want people who never did recording before, or did but never with that big of a surface of a audio interface, I want them to feel confident and I want them to have the knowledge to go one step further. In this first episode, we're gonna go over how to set up gain and how to set up the routing for the console to send signal from a microphone all the way into your computer. To make thing easy, we're gonna start fresh. So we're gonna initialize the console and that is happening into setup the first page general here, and we're gonna press initialize console. Make sure that everything that you see here is in blue, not in black like this. Just go select all and press initialize. That totally just reset everything on the console. Now we're all at the same basic level of the console. The first thing that we're gonna set up is microphone gain because this is what we're working with. This is the signal that we're gonna send from the microphone to the DAW. If we get that right at the beginning, we will have visual indication. That way we can visually see that we send signal out to the DAW into the console. That give us something to work with. In this video, I'm gonna stick with the local microphone preamp and auxiliary in of the wing those are the basic 16 input that you have on the console if you want to use an external stage box plug your microphone into the stage box instead of in the back of the console and use the stage box preamp instead of the local 8 preamp in the back in this scenario i want to use the 8 mic preamp in the back and the 8 auxiliary in by default the microphone are already patched in the console from 1 through 8 channel 9 through 48 are empty let's move over to routing we're gonna go in the channel tab unlock or patch and we're gonna take a look at what we have here so lcl 1 through 8 is or local mic preamp in the back of the console on channel 9 through 16 we want a patch or auxiliary in 1 through 8 the way to do it will be to press 1 and select the first one here 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 that way on our first 16 channel of the console we have the 8 microphone preamp and the 8 line in It's now time to do some gain structure. Today we're gonna to use one microphone. This is a Bayer Dynamic V56 condenser microphone. Because this is a condenser microphone, we're gonna activate the 48 volt phantom power. To do so, just put your finger on the 48 volt icon here, hold it for two seconds. The channel will auto mute the time that the power is reaching the microphone. The auto mute will go out and that way you can now start to talk into the microphone as you can see right now we don't have a lot of signal you can barely see something happening here so we're gonna turn up the gain we're gonna turn up the gain turn up the gain until we reach the yellow point i'm gonna do a little bit of gain staging 101 here what i'm trying to achieve when i'm setting up gain is i want to make sure that i get i get good signal Going into the yellow, I want to make sure that the average of my signal is just barely touching the yellow here. But if I go loud, I don't want to reach the clip level here. So 42 here is a little loud. I'm going to turn that back down. Hey, hey, back down. Oh, I'm really close to clip here. 
With this microphone gain at 35, my average speaking volume is always around the yellow but never going into the red. And this is how I try to set up my gain. That way I can have a lot of signal to work with and that will be reflected on the recording in or DAW. Because we're dealing with digital console here, try to avoid at any cost to have clipping. Turn the gain down maybe one more step if you need it. So instead of 35, I'm gonna use 32. Make sure that if you go loud, it's not reaching the clipping point. Now I'm only gonna do this for one channel, but let's say if you are recording a drum or when I will be recording a drum with the console, uh, I will do the same thing for every microphone preamp. So you want your drummer to give you loud bass drum hits, snare, the toms, the overhead. Make sure that you get into the good yellow zone, but never going out in the clip. Uh, we got signal going, we have we have a pretty good amount of signal going in, but we want that signal to go out to the computer. By default, the USB interface do not get any signal. Nothing is patched in there. The console doesn't send anything out to the computer. If we want to send signal, like in this case, we want to send our mic pre's or eight mic pre's and eight auxiliary in, we want to send that out to the computer over USB. We need to tell the console to do that. We're going to go into setup and we're going to go to audio and here on the right, we're going to select the amount of channel that we want to send. I suggest you to go 48 channel because going 2, 8, 16 or 32, it's not going to change much. Maybe if you are using a really old computer that cannot have an audio interface more than 16 by 16, go there. But unless you're using something that is 15 years old now or something like a Mac G4, G5, you're not gonna run into that kind of problem. So just go by the full 48 channel. And now we're gonna move on to routing. In routing, we wanna go here on top on the output menu. On the drop down menu here in the left, you wanna select USB audio. Unlock the patch. And now we need to select what we wanna send out to the computer over the USB. So our first eight inputs are the local in. So we're gonna select here local in one. I'm gonna I'm gonna press a plus one here. This is kind of like an auto patch. It's just gonna auto assign the channel as I'm touching the left side of the screen. So one is already in there, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, once we reach number nine, we wanna use our auxiliary in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now we have our first 16 channel because we can go all the way to 48 if we want. But we have our first 16 channel being the local mic pre and being the aux in. Once we reach this point, whatever we plug in the back of the console in the eight mic pre and the eight auxiliary in is gonna go out to our DAW. Now there is something that I wanna point out. As we are set up right now, whatever we are doing on the channel strip itself of the console will not affect the signal going into the computer. The only thing that will affect the signal going to the computer is the gain setup. If you play around with EQ, if you play around with effect here, because the signal is taken before the channel strip, it's only really taking the microphone preamp signal and send it out to the DAW. Everything you do on the channel strip itself and the console will only affect what goes out of the main out, what goes out to the bus end for monitoring and stuff like that. But the signal will remain as pure as it come in the console that way. There is a way to send the signal with all the processing that you apply on the channel strip, but I wanna keep that for another video because if you are new to recording and you do something that you don't like on the channel strip itself and you record it that way, you are stuck with what you have. So I suggest you strongly just send out, like we did here, the preamp straight into the computer. And after that, use non-destructive way to affect the signal, to apply EQ, to apply gate, compression, uh, and then add some time-based effect like reverb. Do that, do all that stuff in the DAW. 
this is as far as we will go in this first episode because what we just did here apply for everybody no matter what kind of software you're using this is the first step that you need to do to get signal from a microphone all the way to the computer in the next episode we will go from the USB in the back so I'm gonna physically show you guys where to plug the cable send it into your computer setting up your monitor ring where to plug your monitor in the back of the console if you want to see more video about the wing subscribe to the channel if you like that video give it a thumbs up until the next one please take care of yourself and I see you guys later